What up nerds? My name is Leslie Smith. Welcome to the Nerdy Narrative. Today we are going to dive into the sophomore novel by Chris Panettiere, Stringers. This will be out on April 12th, 2022, published by Angry Robot Books. This is a must read for any of you sci-fi lovers out there. Even if you're someone who just likes to read a sci-fi every once in a while, I think this is a perfect one for you. If you loved The Martian by Andy Weir, you are going to adore Stringers. This one is hilarious. It's even funnier than The Martian was to me. I was laughing out loud multiple times reading it. If I wasn't laughing, I was sitting there grinning like a fool. My cheeks hurt the first night that I started this my cheek muscles hurt afterwards. I loved it. 23% of the way in, I'm looking to see what else Chris Pinnatier has written. I saw his debut novel, The Phlebotomist. I snapped it up because I have to read it. I have to read everything that he writes. Now I do understand it could be a completely different type of story. It might not be science fiction. It might not be as funny. That's okay because the writing style, the method in which he unfolds his story, I really clicked with. He told me things as I needed to know them. They hit at the right time of the story. He would introduce something and he would make sure that the reader grasped what was happening before moving to the next thing and then unfolding it further here. And what I loved, the main character, Ben, and his best friend, Patton, literally had no idea what was going on either. So we kind of learned with them or it didn't stick, like it didn't stick with them sometimes. It was so funny. So what is Stringers about? I'm not gonna tell you what a Stringer actually is because that's one of those things you learn throughout the story. You don't get that information in the beginning. It comes later when you're primed and ready for it. And I just think that's something you need to learn what it is organically. But how does it start? Well, we meet Ben. Ben, I believe is around 28, 29 years old. He works in a tackle shop. A little underwhelming, but it's because Ben is stuck in his life. He's in his own way. He can't get past this one particular thing about himself. He can't explain it. He has spent his whole life trying to. His parents tried when he was younger. They eventually gave up. Ben hasn't been able to do that. And what is it he's trying to find out? Well, where did this knowledge that he was born with. He did not learn it. He was born with. Where did this knowledge about all of these different types of wristwatches come from? Like he's an expert. Where did that come from? Moreover, where did all of the information about the animal kingdom and the bugs, insects, most specifically their sexual practices come from? You know, and it's one of those things where he can't hold it in. He has to let it out or he'll explode. Can you imagine what school was like for this guy? No wonder Patton is his best friend, a shroom loving guy. Well, actually Patton is his only friend, but that's okay. If you have a friend like Patton, you only need the one. Trust me. Ben has all of this knowledge. He doesn't know where it came from. He doesn't know why he is the way he is. And as a result, He's kind of never gotten anywhere with life. He hasn't even lived life, actually. He goes to work, goes home, researches. He is searching end to end in the internet. If not to find what he is or what's wrong with him, but to find somebody who's like him. Well, he gets a hit one night. That leads to him and Patton being abducted by one snarky robot bounty hunter. Oh my gosh, the interactions between these characters are just <laughs> like my cheeks are gonna start hurting again. I loved this story so much. Two things you're going to need to do for it. Read the footnotes. Oh my goodness, the footnotes had me snorting with laughter. There were a couple of times that I snorted so hard that it actually hurt my nose and made it burn read the footnotes. Trust me, you will thank me. You're going to need a mirror. The second half of the book, there's a few places where you're going to need a mirror in order to get the full picture of what's going on. Don't ask questions. Just have that mirror handy. So it's interactive. It's fun. 
you get to do neat things like reading footnotes that are going to make you belly laugh and using a mirror to see what's to get further into the story. I loved it. It was a great story. It was entertaining. It was fun. It was funny. But it also had a really great story crafted in there. That's why I said I clicked with his writing style so well. It had a really fascinating sci-fi story built in. That is the kind of, this is the kind of science fiction novel I love. You know, something that is a touch over my head in places. I'm learning, I'm interacting, I'm exploring. My imagination is just widening. I love this type. This is the type of sci-fi I thrive on. So if you have read anything like what I've described here, please put that down in the description box below. Again, this book comes out April 12th, 2022. I'm going to have the information linked down in the description box down below. What do you guys think? Does this one sound interesting to you? For those of you who might be worried about the the sexual nature of the animals and the bugs. It is not graphic. It is not described. There's nothing like that that happens in the book. It's just used for comedic relief. So no worries there. And there are a couple of times the science discussion went a touch over my head and I kind of, and my brain kind of went on vacation. But like I mentioned, I don't know that I was supposed to get it because Ben and Patton didn't get it either, which was really funny to me. Some of you, it might make perfect sense to, and you just eat that up. For me, did it detract from my enjoyment? Absolutely not. I loved this book start to finish. I will reread this book. This is going to be a comfort read. This is a book that I'm going to use to pull me out of any future slumps I might have. If I finish a series that was very in depth and special to me, that I'm mourning the characters, I'm going to read this book. If I read something that's a big letdown or a DNF, I will use this book to fix any problems reading or if I just want something fun to read, that will be this book. I did receive the eARC from Angry Robot Books to read and review. I'm going to purchase a physical copy. This book belongs on those shelves because these shelves are filled with my favorites books that I will read and reread and reread and reread. Guys, what do you think? Are you going to give this one a shot? Let me know in the comments down below or if you have any further questions about this book you would like me to answer. Drop them down in the comments. I'll be glad to answer any questions you might have. Thank you so much for checking in on this review. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next one.